Today on The Hookup, I'm gonna help you make sense of the hundreds of different options that you have when it comes to home security cameras. And I'm gonna help you make the right decision for your use case, budget, and level of expertise. Over the last 15 or so years, I've gone through half a dozen camera systems. And since starting this YouTube channel, I've tested close to 100 different home security camera options. There is no one size fits all solution out there, but some are much better than others. And there are a few must have features like person detection that you absolutely shouldn't go without. In this video, I'm gonna explain the pros and cons of each camera system type and give you my top picks in each category so you can feel happy and secure with your investment. There are no sponsored cameras in this video, so all the opinions you're about to see are 100% based on my experience testing and using these camera systems. This video is sponsored by Yeelight and their newest line of smart color light bulbs. The M2 bulb features high saturation color and tunable white light, and adding it to your smart home using Google Home devices is easier than ever. Just screw in your light bulb in the same room as one of your Google Home devices, open up the Google Home app, Click on discover your new bulb, and then you're all done. After you watch this video, click on the link down in the description to enter the Yeelight and Google giveaway for a chance to win a mystery box filled with hundreds of dollars of Yeelight and Google products, including the new M2 bulbs. Let's start with the most popular and newest technology in cameras, battery powered wireless cameras. This category includes popular companies like Ring, Blink, Reolink, Eufy, Arlo, and a lot more. You should choose battery powered cameras if you want fast and easy installation, you wanna occasionally view your cameras through a phone app or on your Echo or Google Home devices, and you don't mind the trade-off of motion-based recording only with no option of continuous recording or viewing. As I said, the major strength of these cameras is obviously their ease of setup. You can go from opening the box to fully set up in less than 15 minutes without crawling around in your ceiling or hanging messy wires on your walls. Inevitably, their ease of use comes with some drawbacks. First, battery-powered wireless cameras more than any other solution rely heavily on the cloud for recording and processing emotion events. And unfortunately, more and more these days, this cloud reliance comes with monthly subscription fees, which I personally hate, and not just due to their increased costs, but because it allows the business decisions of these companies to affect your already purchased and installed cameras. Second, these are battery powered cameras, so charging is an inevitability, unless your camera is mounted in a location where you can also install something like an aftermarket solar panel, which are available for most of these cameras. But of course, that comes at an added cost to these already expensive systems. Third, in order to extend their batteries as much as possible, these cameras only wake up during motion. So if you're hoping to have a constant feed playing on a monitor or record 24 seven, it's just not possible. And then last, and this is an important one, Lithium batteries do not like the cold, and since these cameras are trying to be as low power as possible, you can't rely on the heat of the electronics to keep them warm. Most of these cameras list negative four degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 degrees Celsius as their minimum operating temperature. Noting these important shortcomings, I love that these systems have made security cameras available to less techie users, and I trust them enough that I've installed them at my parents' house a thousand miles away. Within this category, my overwhelming recommendation is the Uficam line of cameras. Not only has Uficam held to their no subscription local recording policy without exception, but their image quality and resolution and battery life are best in class. Within the Uficam lineup, I'd specifically suggest either the Uficam 2C or 2C Pro if you don't mind the white LEDs that are used for color night vision, or the Uficam 2 or 2 Pro for a more traditional infrared night vision. The main difference between the Pro and the non-Pro models is the resolution, which is 1080p on the non-Pro models and then twice that at 2K on the Pro models. Resolution aside, the real must-have feature on these devices is person detection that will help you differentiate between moving branches or shadows and actual people, which means you can reliably use the cameras to get notifications on your phone. At this point, I have a hard time recommending any camera system without person detection, especially if you're going to use notifications. So within the Uficam lineup, these are the cameras you should choose, and these are the ones to avoid. Next are doorbell cameras. Doorbell cameras are the right choice for you if you want to keep track of package deliveries, talk to visitors using a two-way intercom, and occasionally view your doorbell camera on a phone app or on your Echo or Google Home devices. Doorbell cameras come in two main varieties. There's wired, which use your existing doorbell wires, and then battery powered for those of us who are unlucky enough not to have an existing doorbell. 
In either case, my recommendation is the same, the Eufy Battery 2K Doorbell, which offers great two-way audio, on-device person detection, and local recording without a monthly fee. And it has nearly six months of battery life. Even if you have an existing doorbell, you should still choose the Eufy Battery 2K Doorbell over the wired one, because you can still hook up your existing doorbell wires to keep the battery charged, and it has the important difference of recording to the Eufy home base unit instead of onto a memory card inside the device like the wired version does. You should choose the Eufy Cam 2K doorbell over the Ring doorbell because there's no monthly fees, better person detection, and most importantly, because it records to a base station in your house and not the cloud, it's still able to record even when there's an internet outage, which the Ring cameras cannot do. The next category of camera is powered outdoor rated Wi-Fi cameras. You should use these cameras if you hate charging batteries, you want a functional security camera on a budget, and you don't mind running long power cables to your camera. Cameras like the WiseCam V3 and the Reolink Loomis seem pretty tempting based on their super low prices for their more than adequate performance. But to me, they're in a strange no man's land as far as security camera performance goes. The main downside of these cameras is that unlike the Eufy Cam battery cameras that communicate directly with their home base, these cameras rely on your home's Wi-Fi to transmit video, which can be an issue since the cameras are outside and may be far away from your wireless access points. I have to admit that the WiseCam V3 delivers impressive performance for its insanely low price, but it still seems strange to me to need to buy a long USB cable to plug it into a nearby outlet. Like, what happens if somebody just walks by and unplugs it? Floodlight cameras also fall into this powered Wi-Fi category, and you should consider a floodlight camera if you already have an existing outdoor light where you'd like to add a camera and you're comfortable working on mains voltage. For floodlight cameras, I've tested the Ring floodlight, which was impressively bright, and it does include person-only notifications. But unless you're gonna fully invest in the Ring ecosystem and pay their $10 a month subscription for unlimited cameras, I think paying $3 a month per camera is absurd. And as I mentioned, it is fully reliant on your home's Wi-Fi, and if that goes down, you won't be able to save any of your video clips during that time. That being said, you also shouldn't buy the Eufy floodlight since it hasn't been upgraded to support person detection, which really sucks if you've already got other Eufy products. In fact, my recommendation for a spotlight camera is a Eufy Cam 2C or 2C Pro with the Wasserstein floodlight mount, which has a USB port to keep your camera charged. And that gives you a person detection floodlight camera that you can use with the Eufy app. The next step up in camera systems is wiring both the network connection and the power connection to each camera. And you should choose a wired NVR package if you want an all-in-one solution to record and view your cameras 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you're willing to run wires for your network video recorder or NVR to each of your security cameras. A few years ago, it was still pretty common to see security camera packages using these things called Siamese cables that carried both the power and the video on two different connections. But for the most part, cameras have transitioned into fully digital signals that are connected to a central network video recorder or NVR using an ethernet cable. A single ethernet cable carries both power and data using something called power over ethernet or PoE. The major drawback of these systems is always installation. You'll need to pick a secure centralized location to place your NVR and then run ethernet cables up your walls and through your crawl spaces to get the cameras where you want them. My current recommendation in this category are the Reolink NVR packages with AI person and vehicle detection. The two systems pair an NVR with a two terabyte hard drive and either four five megapixel cameras for $439 or four 4K cameras for $559, which are both super reasonable prices for what you're getting. With these systems, you can view live feeds right out of the NVR's HDMI output, record 24-7, View your cameras and recordings on the NVR, Reolink phone app, or web interface, and use AI person detection for recordings and notifications. The new NVR has a completely revamped user interface that is miles ahead of the competition, and the Reolink mobile app is by far my favorite of any PoE camera manufacturer. One last system type that should at least get a mention here are the ultra-cheap wireless NVR packages. For $150, I picked up a four camera system where each camera just needs power and it automatically connects back to the NVR wirelessly. These low cost systems are incredibly basic and while you can install a hard drive for motion recording, it isn't included. The video quality is more than acceptable for $150 and the online viewing is handled through the already popular Tuya app. But the reason I didn't put this solution higher up on the list is because there's multiple security issues that would prevent me from adding a system like this to my home network. First, the NVR is connected to the internet, 
but these generally won't receive any system updates, so they could act as a point of access for a hacker to enter your network. And second, all of the camera systems I've talked about today so far use a method called P2P to allow you to access your cameras from outside your network. This P2P method means that your camera system has to be connected to the manufacturer's P2P cloud at all times to direct your phone app to your home IP address when you request to see your cameras. For exterior cameras in insecure locations, this isn't a huge concern, but I would personally think twice before installing internet connected cameras inside your house or in locations that you would consider private. Which brings me to my last option, which is the most customizable, powerful, and secure, but inevitably the most difficult to set up, and that's mixing and matching different PoE cameras with your own computer-based recording software. You should choose this option if you want the best and most secure system possible, and the words RTSP, Firewall, VPN, and VLAN are in your vocabulary. Personally, I use Blue Iris, which is a Windows-based NVR combined with an AI computer vision software called DeepStack. My cameras are all between 5 and 8 megapixels and are a hodgepodge of brands and models from companies like Dawa, Hikvision, Anki, and Reolink. But my current recommendation for 4K cameras is the Reolink RLC 810A, and for budget 5 megapixel cameras, the RLC 410 5 megapixel. In my system, none of my cameras nor my NVR are accessible from the internet. And instead, I connect back to my home network using a personal VPN to be able to view and interact with my cameras. If you're interested in my exact system, I made a video walking through the entire setup process, and I'll link to that video and my other camera reviews down in the description. I know this was a lot of information, but hopefully it helped you make your decision about which camera system is gonna be right for you. If you have other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll respond as soon as possible. Thank you so much to my awesome patrons over at Patreon for your continued support of my channel. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, please check out the links down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching The Hookup.